Previously on Solar Balls, a group of moons are headed to the outskirts of the solar system to search for the now exiled Jupiter, who was banished from the sun after finding out Jupiter destroyed dozens of rocky planets billions of years ago. Hey, Planet X. Uh, what are you looking at, mate? Oh, n nothing, Uranus. Just gazing into space. Remembering the old days and all. Hmm. Yeah, I get you. Billions of years lost in total darkness? Must have been super hard. That's one way of putting it. But now you're back and you took Jupiter's place, so all is good, right? Anyways, you... <laughs> you said we had much to talk about? Right. Uh, would you be interested in a new orbit? A... Uh, a new orbit? Which one? Saturn's, of course. <laughs> Yeah, too right, mate. I mean it. I can get the sun to place you in Saturn's orbit. Neptune goes to your old orbit, and we move Saturn to Neptune's orbit. Far from here. Listen, I... I appreciate the gesture, but the sun doesn't listen to anyone. What about the one planet he forgot about for billions of years? Besides, just between you and me, Saturn was... kinda complacent in everything Jupiter did, so I bet we can get him to accept our demands. I... I don't know. I've been looking at you for a while. You desire recognition. Being seen as something more than the butt of the joke, Uranus. Or should I call you... Kalis? k, -K kalis Yep. Every planet was named after a Roman god, but you... You specifically didn't get a Roman name. You got the worst possible Greek name, Uranus. Kalis is just Uranus's Roman equivalent, the god of the skies. I bet I can get everyone to recognize you by that name from now. Come on, what do you say? I say, let's give it a bow, mate! Who'd have thought we'd all end up hanging out after everything that happened? What do you mean, Callisto? Well, Io and I befriended you, then tried to capture you. But eventually we became allies to oppose Titan, Ganymede, and Europa, who pushed the Moon Revolution forward until things fell apart and we all opposed those two. Just saying, we're a strange group. Heh, <laughs> yeah. I get it, by the way. What's that? Why you didn't want us in your moon club. Well, if I'm being honest, it's not only because you two were troublemakers. I guess I didn't want to be undermined. Despite everything, you know how to lead, Ganymede. Oh, well, thanks. I just... If you think that, then why did you turn your back on... Because being a leader is a huge responsibility. Just think about Jupiter for a second. He's the biggest planet, and it's exactly for that reason that the moment he made a wrong move, dozens of planets got destroyed. <laughs> He's right! We've always admired Jupiter, but I guess we never considered the weight he carries. I guess what I've come to realize is that the difference between a real leader and a bully is how they handle this responsibility. It can't be selfish or self-serving. It needs to be in the service of others, especially those who are weak or small. The smaller moons look up to you, Europa, and even I can't deny that. You've always been nice to them. Guys, I think we are here. Okay, does anyone see Jupiter? Trust me, you're not gonna see anything from here. Yeah, even planets are infinitesimally small compared to all of this space. I see. So, Ganymede, Europa, can you guide us through this empty space? I guess we have some experience, but I can't make any promises. To be honest, it's a miracle we even found Planet X. Isn't it possible that Planet X planned to be found by you? Come to think of it, we were pretty much guided by his gravity. Maybe he approached us after we got lost? If that's the case, how are we gonna find a planet that doesn't want to be found? With the help of Neptune! 
Come on, Neptune, can't you just announce your presence like a normal planet? No. Anyways, follow me. Wait, you want to take us to Jupiter? Yep, I'm the furthest planet from the sun, so I have some experience moving around this far away from it. But we still don't know where to go. Yeah, I can barely sense any source of gravity past this point. Well, I can. You, you can? can? Come on, guys. Newton's law of universal gravitation. The gravitational force between two objects depends on their masses and their distance. Jupiter may be far, but we are both massive in every sense of the word. Even at this distance, I can feel his pull just as much as he can feel mine. What's a Newton? Did we really just learn science from Neptune? Anyways, come along. <laughs> Look who decided to become one of Neptune's moons. Ha ha. Very funny. <clears throat> nice to see you, Triton. Likewise, Callisto. I have a gist of the situation. Let's hope we can find your planet. Yep. Jupiter sure has some things to answer for. Hey, Europa. Can we stay close to you? You know, in case there are asteroids nearby? Sure, Proteus. Wait, did you say we? She said yes! Little ones really do love you, huh? Well, being the smallest of the Galilean moons made it easy for me to connect to them. I guess even during the moon revolution, you were kind of fighting for something. I was trying to impress everyone and be seen as the biggest and the coolest. But you, you did it for the little moons, right? Those nobody cared about, not even me. Ganymede. No, it's fine, I'm just... Realizing how similar I've been to the planets all along. I see him! I see Jupiter! Jupiter! Ooh, we miss you! Wait! I see him! Jupiter! Hello, Mr. Big Planet! I brought your moons with me. Actually, only the four of us are his moons. Oh, what do I know? Anyways, uh... Hi, big guy. Are you even real? What do you mean? Of course we are real, Jupiter! <laughs> yeah, right. No way my moons would look for me. Not after they found out about the Grey attack. About how I caused so much destruction. I mean... Y yeah, we are disappointed in you, but that's not... See, Guillermo? Now I'm imagining things. Ha! <laughs> I must be going crazy. I honestly thought I could somehow make up for my mistakes, but maybe it wasn't enough. Hey, Guillermo is here! Hi, huh, Guillermo! Jupiter, we- Hold on. What do you mean by that? After I destroyed the rocky planets, I did everything I could to protect the new ones. Venus, Mars, the Earth, Mercury, even poor Thea. Thea? Who's Thea? Don't ask me. I- I- I, I kept the asteroid belt in check. Use my size and gravity to keep it stable. Rejected upcoming asteroids from the solar system, or trapped them into the asteroid belt, like that would fix anything. So you protected everyone for all this time? It didn't fix anything, so... Jupiter, if this is true, then you've been protecting the inner planets for billions of years! You should have said something! I mean, the Earth has life because of you! Does that excuse what I did? No, but then shut up! Unless the sun wants me to come back, this is where I'll stay! So leave, you imaginary figments of my core imagination! Now what? We must tell all of this to the sun. See if there's a solution we can come up with. Ganymede, every time we go to the sun, things go from bad to worse. I know, but it's our only option. Planet X? Uranus? Why are you out of- Our orbits. Really? After billions of years exiled, you're calling me out on that? What? N no! I mean, I'm just- On that note, we wanted to have a little discussion regarding our orbits. And everyone else's for that matter. Would that be okay? I, uh, I guess? <laughs> Perfect. Hey guys, Planet X here. Just wanted to let you know, we have an amazing Black Friday bundle for you. 
you can get these three plushies for the price of two. Earth, Moon, and Astro Dude. This offer will last until Monday, so don't miss it. And regarding solar cards, you can start pre-ordering them now. Maybe you'll get lucky and get the Planet X card. <laughs> and one final surprise, you can pre-order a Planet X plushie now. There's also a Jupiter plushie you can pre-order, but mine is way better. You can place your pre-order until the 25th of December. So get your Planet X and Jupiter plushie now.